All right, so we're gonna get started on the uh, Unique Toys uh, Abominus. Uh, so we're gonna start off with Hungar here. Um, now I got these used from a friend. Shout out to John John L. Um, gave me a really good deal. Um, so I'm I'm guessing that he came with all the guns and the chest piece and the crotch piece. Now, I'm sure there's ways to attach these things on here, but honestly, let's all face facts. We don't care. <laughs> I know I don't. Um, so I, I'm sure some people out there do care. They, they like to incorporate everything into all modes, but me, I, quite frankly, if I could set these off to the side and have a cleaner bot, I'm gonna go for that any day of the week. Um, so, as we go throughout the reviews, uh, I'm going to kind of guess on whose gun goes where, because I'm sure they're all, you know, one person gets one gun, kind of thing. And then I probably, um, Cutthroat probably gets these, but I, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't have instructions. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have anything. Don't have the boxes, nothing. But uh, for the deal I got on them, I'm not going to complain. Um, all right, so uh, here he is in his two-headed dragon mode. Um, this was one of the few G1 Transformers I did have. Actually, I had, had uh, um, Sinner Twin as well. Um, so that's so it's kind of cool to have them again. And I think this does a really good job. His torso is a lot thinner than the G1, from what I remember. I'm pretty sure the torso there, uh, or the, yeah, the torso of the Dragon Bot was pretty thick, and transformation was real simple. Uh, so, posability, tip of the tail here can fold up and down. That's it. This one up and down, and then there's a hinge in here. There's a hinge here, and up and down. So you get a pretty good range of motion with the tail. Back legs are on a hinge swivel, so you get the uh, up and down and a little in and out. There's a hinge here and here, so and then the hinge at the foot. Ratcheted shoulder joint here, and yeah, it does hinge outward. There is a thigh swivel double bend elbow or knee however you want to think about it foot is on a ball joint so you get the left and right up and down the heads here they are on a swivel here at the thigh so up and down they also can swivel in and out there's another hinge here so you can get down then there's another hinge here, so you get out. And then there's a ball joint on a hinge in here, and then the mouths, um, top jaw and bottom jaw do open independently. So, all in all, uh, pretty good posability for its dragon mode. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I, I really like this thing. Uh, now let's get him into robot mode. So, um, I've only done this once, I think. So, take the legs, fold them down, open up the mouths all the way. Those form the feet, just like the G1 toy. So, simple as that. Take these legs here, fold them back, fold them back, take the tail, fold this back. Now, what you want to do here is pull the legs out just like that. There, there's a port here, or a plug here, that plugs into this hole right there. Then you take this section here and you fold this in. And you rotate it up. So, out, in, and around. Take this piece here, this will fold down just like that. Then you want to pull this back piece out. 
just like that. Collapse. Oh, before you can collapse it, open this. Oh, for Pete's sake. You're gonna make me undo everything, aren't you? Alright, open that up. Then you can open this down. That will help you, allow you to fold the head up. You get a little tool in there. Alright, so you got the head up. This collapses in. Close that one back up. Close the waist. As you can see, there's it's really loose. So that's why you want to undo this back piece. So this back piece has this tab here. That'll plug into this slot right there. So when you close it up, it will lock it into place like that. Take this whole assembly, and this will just plug in to the chest. Um, okay, that's plugged in there now. <laughs> So it's this plug here, and it goes into the slot right there. Just like that. And then what I like to do, and I don't know if this is in the instructions or not, is fold these legs up on the back and get it so that the feet sit up on the uh, top of the chest here. Same thing over here. Just like that. Fold the tail down. Nothing really tabs in, tabs the tail into place, but that's okay. Then you want to open up this panel here. Fold out the hands. Close it back up. Take the claws. Fold them onto the back, and you're done. So again, fold. Come on. There we go. And down. And there is Hunger in his robot mode. Uh, his Real quick, his feet are on those little ball joints that are on hinges, so they are a little on the loose side, so just be mindful of that. I wish there was a way to lock them into place, but I can't seem to find one. Does, and the tail does cause them to be a little on the back heavy side, but not a not a huge issue, just noticeable. Um, head is on a, I think it's just a, yeah, ball joint. So you get a little side to side. We get to turn, a little up, a little down. Shoulders ratchet up and down, and there's a hinge up here, so you get a good pretty decent range of motion for the way the shoulders are designed. Um, bicep swivel, double bend elbow, hands rotate, waist swivels, hips up and down. I think it's attempting a ratchet, but I, I can't tell if it's just tight plastic. Thigh swivels in and out. Uh, there is a swivel right above the knee. Hinge knee, and then the ball joint um, gets you a little, little bit of a rocker and a pretty fair tilt, I'd say. And yeah, uh, all in all, uh, I think he's pretty good. Let's give him this gun. Yeah. I'm down with it. I think he's pretty cool. Definitely could use a Decepticon logo when I get a second. Uh, here he is with a uh, MP car. So you see he's about a head taller than an MP car. And here he is with Prime. Uh, 
Although that that he is a taller MP car, so and an MP Prime is one and a half heads taller. So I would say he's about right where I would want him to be, uh, MP scale wise. Um, now if we talk chug scale, here you know here he is with a deluxe car, and I think that's that's too big. I think. Um, so yeah, uh, all in all, I, I, I really like him. I give him a, uh, I'm going to give him, and, and again, for those people that maybe haven't seen my channel before, I don't know why you're watching. Um, usually it's a pretty small fan base here, uh, which is great. I love you guys, but anyway, um, the way I do it is, is I'm only, I only review these figures as, the alternate mode and the robot mode. I review the combined mode at another time, but I think I always believe that the bot mode and alternate mode in a combiner needs to be good enough on its own that it doesn't need to rely on being a combiner to really be successful. And I think he he nails it. I'm gonna give him an eight out of ten. Um, the only thing that's keeping me from giving a 10 out of 10 is the feet. Um, they definitely could have used maybe ratchets um, somewhere in the legs and in the feet to, to keep them into place as they are now is they are a little on the floppy side. Not terrible, but noticeable enough. Um, but overall, I love the way the figure looks. Um, I love the way it transforms, the simplicity of it. I mean, I'm not sitting here with an engineering degree being like, oh man, now we have to, you know, redo this and this and this. Um, just got enough complications to make it fun and enjoyable. Um, you know, this set and the, uh, C-Cons for the most part have been a true joy to play with. Um... Because I haven't been frustrated except for the combined mode for the Seacons, which I ended up improving later on. So, so yeah, I, I'm I'm really really liking these guys. Um, I, I think this guy's I think this guy's a solid effort, and I recommend him on its own um, if you can get him. I know I know he's getting harder to find now, but definitely I recommend him.